In a suburb in New Jersey, Anna Moss is getting her papers in order. After receiving a bachelor's degree in the US, she decided to do her master's in Germany and save a lot of money. Initially, I was kind of thrown off because I saw that there wasn't any tuition for any of the universities. And I thought maybe there's a catch because I'm American and I always think that. Universities are free of charge in Germany for German citizens and for everyone else. Thousands of Americans have heard the call and have enrolled overseas. So what if I make it an infinite sum? Hunter Bliss made the move last fall. A first because the 19-year-old from South Carolina had never even been outside the US. I had heard things like I'd be able to drink, I'd have health care, I would get education, which was great. My, my main motivation, of course, was saving money. There's about 30 or so students sitting inside listening intently to this lecture being held in English. And that's important because if the university president has his wish, within five years, every graduate program at this university will not just be offered in English, but in English exclusively. Uh, pretty good. In the meantime, Hunter's mother is glad she can finance his education and living expenses without having to take on any loans. Each month it costs about 600 euro to live here. My room, train tickets, school, gym, food, phone, healthcare. But how long can it last? The president of Hunter's University says it's almost inevitable that foreigners will have to pay in the future. If we ignore the question of how to finance an outstanding university in the future, we will not continue of having outstanding universities in Germany. But in the capital Berlin, the top destination for US students, politicians insist that college education should be a right and not a privilege. And experts say there's an economic benefit for Germany too. If 40% of graduates stay in the country for five years, Germany recovers its costs. Keeping uh, international students who have studied in the country is the ideal way of immigration because they have certificates which are needed, uh, they, they don't have a language problem at the end of their stay, and uh, they know the culture. Catherine is one of those already paying back into the system. After finishing her master's degree last year, she's still in Berlin, living in a hip neighborhood and working for a German startup association. I still could have gone, but I don't know, there's some sort of comfort here. There's, there's so many young people all thinking, believing that Berlin is this sort of dream world where anything is possible after you graduate. For a country worried about an aging population, not charging young foreign talent could prove to be a smart long-term strategy. Franz Strasser, BBC News, Germany.